Hi guys, uh, there was an article or a text or a link, some text about Hyperland and NVIDIA. We always said don't install Hyperland or Sway on virtual machines and don't use it on, uh, well you can use it on machines with NVIDIA hardware and graphical drivers, uh, graphical cards, but never graphical drivers. Right, okay, so this means pseudo pacman minus R. Well, first of all, you, you can look at the settings here. This is the ISO of Arclex XL. It's the one that we're gonna release in a week's time. And it has minus R, you see at the top there, GPU driver NVIDIA. So yes, I am I having the NVIDIA drivers and I'm gonna waste my life trying to see if Hyperland actually works with NVIDIA, right? Because it, in all texts everywhere, they're saying, mm, so let's give it a go. Control Alt F. There is this wiki hyperlink. Uh, do we have Azerti? Yes, I have. Okay, then I need to type blind <laughs> because I'm on a QWERTY keyboard. So wiki hyperlink. Anything that you still have questions about, don't ask Arclex guys go and read wiki hyperland right and in here somewhere let me look at the other screen it's actually a slash and video behind it whoa and that is a capital n everything matters in life capital n and video and then they come to this page there is no official support for nvidia Unfortunately, these their drivers are so messy and their products so random that it's impossible to help all of us. So if these instructions do not work, bummer, come back in six months, come back in a year, maybe things have changed. So every card seems to be random, might work perfectly or not work at all. So like I said, it could be a complete waste of time, but I'll put the video online. How to get Hyperland to possibly Possibly, right? They are very, very cautious in their words and choice of words. Possibly work on NVIDIA. Install NVIDIA DKMS. Yes, check, right? NVIDIA DKMS, check. And what else? Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. So this is taken care of. And what we do is something called sudo make init cpio minus p and then basically everything is is set but straight out of the box arconex if you choose nvidia it's there it works right so don't no need to type this but okay inside the etc make init cpio.conf add this where is this coming from basically from here from the wiki of arch Linux. So these are the guys that want us to put in there. Control C, then super shift enter, file system etc make, and then init cpio.conf. And then we are looking at the file, double click, sublime text opens. And then this is where it needs to go. Binaries, modules, here, modules. Control V, save. So this is the new code. And the new code is coming from here. And to the modules, here it is, to the modules. This long line is not needed. Like I just shown you, we just do one more. This guy, arrow up and go. Okay, next thing, add a new line to, uh -huh. do we have modprobe dnvidia.conf, nvidia.conf, etc modprobe, this one does not include nvidia.conf, so right mouse click, open folder as root, we stay in control, there's a blue line, and then it says create document nvdia.conf or anything else it's just a name and what do we need to put in there these things 
add a new line uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. and add the line options nvidia drm set so don't skip lines to see where you add because i was almost here and i should have been here right so options nvidia drm and all that Control c it's open it's empty Control v it's not empty anymore Control save that's done what else if your GPU is listed as supported by the NVIDIA OpenDKMS driver, use that one instead. So that's referring to this guy. And I do think that is AOR material. Let's see, Control C, Control T, A. Let's see where it's coming from. We have it on the arch. So great, pseudo Pacman minus S, that's what it means. Now you have that one. Following the wrapper instructions found on the quick start, wrap the launcher and additionally export these guys. So on the quick start page, they say we need to do all this, export this and then execute Hyperland. So these texts, let's have a look if we have something similar. But then I need to have, this is Excel, right? XFCE, this is not Hyperland. I could have started up with Arclix B Hyperland, but then this is the return on investment, right? To see if I can make it work. And actually I want to forget XFC. See, XFC is not going to be visited anymore after this, right? Just I'll use Thunar and I'll use other things, but not really XFC because I'm going to put variables in this operating system that will point to Hyperland, Wayland and Hyperland. So yeah, of course, we'll, the XFC will flip and will say, what's going on, right? So that's in behind in my brain telling, okay, I will fuck up XFCE, but I'll only use, choose a few of these things like, for instance, Tunar. So installing, if I don't know, if I don't know what to get then I go to github Arco Linux, and I wonder how do they build these Arco Linux, the ISO in the Arco Linux B we share all the knowledge how to build the ISO what does not contain what packages need to go on the ISO right oops wrong one the other one packages control find a little bit bigger and then of course hyperland and what do we get there is an Arconix profile git that i need to install control c so pacman minus s control shift v that's one thing then Arconix hyperland git Pacman minus s Arclix git okay so because of that one package build I'm gonna get xorg Wayland in and WF record is gonna come in so a lot of things can come in and yes I know I can strip down this particular package build but that's for the future we are learning about Wayland right and with learning comes yeah what packages do I need really and conveniently, <laughs> I just put everything in the package build. So everything is now here, right? Everything that I ever can dream of is here, even a recorder. So we have this one and there's still one to go. And that's something you don't really know unless you type Wayland. So Wayland where is the A? There he is. Wayland. All right. So far. Others. Arclix Wayland apps is not needed. It's for updating things. So if we update that, we still have the correct one. But this is the one that we want. The Wayland profiles. Copy that one as well. And install that as well. So basically three packages and eventually if you want the fourth one 
Control Shift V. The elements, the variables to define a desktop are split in two pieces. These are all the Wayland stuff, which is similar to Sway and, and, and Hyperland and to River, etc. And then there is the variables that concern Hyperland, which has a profile Hyperland. This is the application Hyperland itself with all its dependencies. And here's the profile. So the profile is always these variables. All right. All this stuff is in the scale. So it needs to get out of the ETC scale. It needs to go to your home directory. And that's why we made a simple alias copy paste me this to there and make a backup okay so with this I've got myself a config and then hyperlint somewhere and hyperlint is called hyper I know I know but here is the hyperland config there is also something called hyper so I have everything ready the configuration is in my home config hyper all the packages have been installed the variables have been installed and what were they talking about they were talking about where's my Firefox here they were talking about this following the wrapping instructions found on wrap the launcher etc additionally export these now what do we have already I shouldn't do doubles but what do we have already in the scripts we start with startup I'm not sure let's see where is the hyperland config started I believe we're gonna start it because recently I found a better way of doing things and I believe it's in user bin and then exec hyperland with something here that is our wrapper now what I wanted, you see here the references, so let's go to blah blah blah, where's the link, here. You see here, recognize the wrapper, right, CD and then Java and so on. So I kept this as a reference to here, but either, and that's the thing for me as well, return on investment, putting the time in to test it with NVIDIA, what if Shouldn't I, like I found out in, was it, it's not Ubuntu, was it Lubuntu, I don't think, was it Xubuntu, in a Ubuntu version, right? I found out that the ideal way to give the, well, the ideal way, their way, <laughs> was to provide a folder, I thought it was profile something, Pop up here, profile D, to add something in here, as you see, sh, shell. Let me check if that's all correct. So there you go. <laughs> so it doesn't need an executable, as you see to the others. I thought I had done that, but okay, I'll make a new package so that it's not executable, because it doesn't need to be. A flat pack is here and, and so on, it does not need to be green. Now, the hyperlint sh is here. So I can drop it in my sublime text. Okay, come on, like so. And here we have some information, no, one back. Here we have information about this one. Control C. Control Shift, Control V. So we've got it already. If, well, I know this is not active, I know, right? But um, I know that this one is, right? Wayland. So everything is, is active here. So it's okay. QMU, KV, KVM, or Oracle, so VirtualBox um, and, and VMware and all that. We have that line. So we don't need it here. Let's see what we have in control find and NVIDIA. Apply NVIDIA specific variables. If it is NVIDIA, then we do this. So check again. 
we say NVIDIA DRM, yes, check again. So this one is also covered. The library is also covered. So these three are covered. And then XDG session type. So I'm just checking what I have and what they suggest. That's okay. This is something I haven't seen, I think. Control C, Control V. Here we have no reference. So this is a new one. Uh, next, and the variable I haven't seen before. Copy. And I'll put it somewhere here. Doesn't really matter where I put where I put it, but it should be when it's oh <laughs> safe and then my password. So it's in the Wayland session, so it, it will be used for Sway as well, if we uh, if we had Sway. But it's in the Wayland session, lib v8 driver. And do we have that? Yay, lib v8. It's installed. It's coming from Arch Extra. Okay, check, right? So I think, uh, let me just make this bigger. We have... Qt5 Wayland, probably. How to know that? Pseudo Pacman minus remove. If you can remove it, you probably have got it, right? Qt5 Wayland. Aha. Is, if I'm not mistaken, that's not there, right? So it's a dependency. Oh, what am I typing? Qt5. All right. So I need to install it. Minus S. Qt5. A Q, Q is here, QT5 Wayland. Yes, that exists. And that's now active. Well, installed. QT5 CT, sudo pacman minus remove. QT5 CT, it's there. So I don't need to install it, and libva was there already. Additionally, NVDA Vapor Driver Git. Okay, let's see if that's indeed on the AOR. Control C. So, yay. And then copy paste. And it's out of date since December, 7th of December. Okay. So, eventually, right? Additionally, to fix crashes only with the electron things. Reboot your computer, launch Hyperlint with a wrapper. It should work. I'm just scrolling up if I forgot anything. We did hopefully do our make init CPO thingy. So sudo make init CPO minus P. Oh, that's not it. Oh, it works without the minus. Ah, dry run complete. No, 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 no dry run. No dry run, the real thing. So now your boot folder is going to be changed. Have a look at it while you run it. Open up slash boot and see what happens to the files. All right. This video has to stop here, I think. And hopefully I can log into Hyperlint on my NVIDIA machine with these things. It should work now. All right, let's reboot.